From Serena Williams, Bill Gates, Obama, to Malala. These people use their talents to revolutionize societal standards. But what else do they have in common? Well, they all found something that they were extremely passionate about, and they used it to inspire others like me to do the same. They found their fit. I believe the main attribute to making the world a better place is to simply find your fit. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly does it mean to find your fit? Well, I stumbled across this concept when I spoke at Texas Youth and Government about youth leadership and community involvement. This organization is actually really cool. It helps students like me be more involved in their government by competing in competitions like mock trial and legislation. In due, be in due time, I became a youth senator. After giving my speech, I noticed that my words were able to have an impact on others. And that's when I create my campaign, Find Your Fit. Have you ever seen a shoe that you are just so in love with in hopes that when you get it, it fits? Like, take this shoe for example. It's cute, it has sparkles. I mean, it basically embodies everything about me. <laughs> and the only wrong thing about this is that it can never fit. It's too small. It's a size 2, and I'm a size 10. <laughs> but the shoes I'm wearing right now, they fit perfectly, and I'm actually infatuated with them. One could even say that they're my perfect match. That's essentially what your fit is. Your fit is your perfect match. In the society we live in today, many people may ask, how can I start to make a change in my society? Well, it actually doesn't cost a lot of time, and it doesn't, you don't need to use a lot of resources. For instance, my friends, Hayden, Blake, Liam, and Frank, they all have a passion for their environment. They're so passionate about their environment that they were so distraught when they looked at our school and they saw litter everywhere. So they each took the initiative to make a change on our school campus and pick up the trash. Little did they know, they were inspiring several others to do the same. That's what led them to create their club called Keep Summit Beautiful. Not only were they leaders on our campus, but through doing something that they loved, they were able to make a change. That's just an example about how four people were able to have an impact on their society while doing something that they love. You can also find your fit in the most unexpected ways. For instance, my freshman year of high school, I was about 5'8", and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I thought I was going to be the next Dirk Nowitzki, Shaquille O'Neal, LeBron James, but <laughs> with more hair, of course. <laughs> any, pro, any pro basketball player that you've ever heard of, I thought I was going to be as good as them. I honestly knew that I was just going to blow them out of the water. So the day came. It was my first game. And I was fast when going up the court. And when it came to defense, nobody can body me because I was just too hot for them. I was passing all the balls. I was blocking shots. And then my time came, and someone passed me the ball, and it was my time to shine. When I finally got the ball, I was bouncing. And I scored, but on the wrong goal. <laughs> yeah. So when I was bouncing the ball, I thought my teammates were screaming for me. It was actually them telling me to go the other way. <laughs> and that's when I realized maybe my fit wasn't for basketball and trying to be the next LeBron James. <laughs> but I used all the talents that I had on the court and put that to something that can make me better. So running on the court, I actually used that for track. And making my teammates know that they should give their all through everything that they're doing. And instead of defending people on the court, I started defending people in an actual court as a youth attorney for my city. That's just an example of how I found my fit in the most unexpected ways and was able to still have an impact. Now, many people may ask, okay, you're 17 years old, you have all the time in the world. I have a job to work, 
I have bills to pay. I don't have time to find my fit. So how am I supposed to do that? Well, I'm here to tell you, you can do that in the most simplest ways. For example, how many of you here are shoe lovers? Oh, yes. I love shoes. <laughs> and you know that there's some people in this world that collect so many shoes but have shoes that they can't fit anymore, like this shoe? <laughs> so they give those shoes back to people in need, people who need those shoes. They found their fit in something that they love, collecting shoes, and used it to impact society. Or if someone likes playing an instrument, do you know that there are people there who use their love for instruments in order to make the lives of other people better? They go to children's hospitals and nursing homes to spread their love of joy for music to them, to make them feel better. Or people like Malala Yousafzai. She used and found her fit in education through life experience. Now, she's helping girls all around the world and ensuring them a successful education. That's a way that you can find your fit in the most simplest ways. Now, have you ever noticed that people who are more involved in extracurricular activities are less inclined to do activities that are malicious like smoking marijuana, cigarettes, stealing, skipping school, using pills like Xanax, which is a sleeping pill? Even the National Center for Educational Statistics proves my point. 64% of people who are not involved in extracurricular activities have unexcused absences, while 58% of them skip class. A prime example of this would be my friend, Styx. <laughs> As you can tell from this photo, Styx isn't the most well-behaved person that I've ever met. <laughs> On the weekends, Styx would use drugs and smoke marijuana, and she would skip school. She wasn't doing anything that could better herself. That all changed when she saw the speech that I made at Texas Youth and Government on Snapchat. After she viewed that, she came to me. She asked me, Christy, I really want to know how I can improve my society. But then she also asked me, how can I make a change in my own life? I told her the simple solution to this is to find her fit. Now, Styx isn't spending time after school using drugs. She's now the captain of her cheerleading team. And instead of skipping school and doing bad things on the weekend, Styx is now making bills for the Texas youth legislation in Texas youth and government. One doesn't have to have a picture perfect or clear record to find their fit. In turn, me finding my fit was able to impact somebody else. Styx. <laughs> and she found her fit. We can all make a change in our world, maybe by finding something that you're passionate in, or involving yourself in extracurricular activities, or by even being the one person to inspire others to find their fit. Now, I'm not saying that you should be the next Serena Williams or the next Bill Gates, and I'm definitely not saying that you should take my path and try to become the next LeBron James. <laughs> but what I am saying is I want everybody to take 30 seconds now to think. Think about something that you love, something that deeply inspires you, something that brings you joy, or something that you're passionate about. That is your fit.